Hey there, so Greg again. I'm here with Sam, and as you can see, we're kind of in a patch here that's surrounded by honeysuckle, but this area is cleared. Sam and I spent about a day clearing this little area last year of honeysuckle, putting all the sticks to the ground, and as a consequence, they've really been eaten up by the fungus in the soil and that. So we have a number of native plants now coming up, some transitional species like box elder, but we've got some Christmas ferns, jewelweed, and some may apples over there but now that we're in here and we're taking a look at what we have we wanted to add some diversity and so we're going to participate with a game with the ants called mermeca cori and it's the ant dance and it's the seed dispersal mechanism that a number of plants have around here using the ants to transport the seeds and bring them underground so what you're seeing is mermeca cori mermec is greek for ants and cori like choreography means dance so it's the ant dance. And there's thousands of plants around the world that have this adaptation, wherein the seed has something called an eliosome attached to it, which is full of nutrients. And the plant drops the seeds on the ground, the ants find them, and then bring them underground. In bringing them underground, it takes the seed and puts it into a safe space where it can not dry out also, by the ants handling them, the ants have formic acid in their saliva, so they disinfect the seeds as they move them about. The ants eat the eliosome, and then they take the seed and put it in their rubbish heap, their compost bin, their garbage. And from there, it starts to take root and germinate. And hopefully next year, in this woods we're doing restoration in, these bloodroot seeds will come up. What we have gathered from the Civic Garden Center grounds are a number of bloodroot seed capsules here, seed pods, and a number of wood poppy seed pods. These are just two plants that have eliosomes and capable of having ants transport their seeds. Others include trillium, wild ginger, uh, there's a whole bunch of them, a lot of the spring ephemeral plants that we have. So. What we're going to do is basically take some of the seeds out of the seed pod. So we have some of the seed pods here. We're going to break them open and they're this gorgeous brown color. And you can see my hands are already stained yellow from the bloodroot sap and the wood poppy sap, which is bright red or yellow. But the seeds there, they have that white appendage and that's the eliosome. That's what the ants are looking for to eat. So as we just disperse them over the seed or the soil here in the forest floor, the ants will find them, pick them up, and transport them underground. Really the idea here is kind of a passive restoration where we take seeds that we know that the animals will use, another would be like acorns or some of the uh, nut bearing species, and just throw them into the restoration site for the animals to then transport and do their seed dispersal mechanisms in that way. It's easier for us and it's very entertaining to watch the ants uh, kind of get frenzied about finding them and then immediately start bringing them underground. So we're just working with nature to help nature.